we're back with unforgettable conversations. Eight, eight, eight. Season three, three episode. Se- oh, episode quattro. Four, four. Yes. Episode quattro. Is it playing? Are we recording? It's recording. Oh, okay. Cool. We're, we're live. We're live. Cheers, everybody. It's coffee. Cheers. It's coffee time. So today we have uh, just one person on the podcast, or technically two with me. The skipper, the one and only. Oh, oh we should probably. Maybe, yeah, we could probably do it. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Enough of that. That's it. Oh, that's <laughs> that's it. Episode. Thanks for that. Thanks for, Thanks for reviewing our our show. Um, yeah, today Fun we're stuff. just going to be talking about, I think how we met. Yes. Maybe a little bit about the Navy and the Usnavi, and then uh, I wanted to talk about, about the, the, World, about the Cup, World Cup, right? Since it started today. Today was the first match. Um, it was in Qatar. It's one of the right. Middle Eastern countries. And I was telling Joel there's a lot of um, criticism and a lot of controversy going on. And uh, first match was Qatar. The host country will always play the first match. And they played against Ecuador. So my question is, if do they have multiple games? You know what I mean? Yeah. So today it's not it was just like just that team, that those two teams that played. It's like. All around the world, there's other teams that played. Uh, so each other? yeah, so today it was just that one match. Tomorrow is three matches at the same time, or they could Ooh, kind of be in okay. the same time, or it could be different times, but they might overlap. And uh, it's like so. I think it's 64 teams. They're all divided into groups, and then the groups will play against each other. Whoever wins the first or the top two out of that group will advance. Blah blah blah. 64 teams. Yeah, that are like mo- most of them Actually are just less. countries, right? Yeah, countries. Yeah. yeah, but they don't play around the world. Like, they play around uh, the country in Qatar. They have five or six stadiums. I'm, okay. I'm not really like sure, but I, and I'm not sure if it's oh, 64 so they all teams. go to one location. They go to one country. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. See, I, I didn't know much about it, so oh. I always assumed like, oh, Germany's playing the U.S. in Germany or or uh, Spain and Mexico Spain playing. And Mexico, but they're in Mexico playing. Yeah, like, no. I didn't know it was at one location. It's just that one country that will host the games. Yeah, give me a minute. I'm yeah. going to get rid of this chair. I feel like it's super squeaky. Oh, yeah, I could hear that. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Using that one. You got to use WD-40. WD-40 on it. Yes. Oh, yes. Proud sponsor. Better. Uh, but yeah, so the World Cup comes around every four years. It's, you know... It's kind of like the Olympics, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's kind of like the Olympics. Um, I love the World Cup. I'm always uh, Team Mexico. They always go, or most of the time they'll go, but they never make it past the Didn't they cause like a little earthquake the last time that they did uh, uh, in one of the stadiums? Um, you remember that? No. There was like a couple articles about it and like the really? video. Like they were chanting so much that they won that... Uh, the stadium started to shake. Really? No, yeah. I, I never read that or saw that. Maybe. I don't know. Are you sure it was the Olympics? It wasn't like... Mm. I mean, the it World was Cup. The, yeah, it was the World Cup. The World and um, mm, it was... it was a, I don't know if it was a, a, in a stadium in Mexico, but it was definitely Mexico that had won. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe it was uh, another like... Um, what's or maybe I'm thinking of a different location, but I know for mm-hmm. sure... And it involved Mexicans. Oh, of course, the Mexicans. <laughs> I hate him. Just kidding. I love him. I'm we a love Mexican. Them. We, we, we love Mexico. Amen. And everything that it has to I mean, I'm in. offer. Yeah. Um, so the controversy thing was, um, and I'm sure a lot of viewers might know um, or might not know, but so there's a couple of things. I was telling Joel that supposedly today the first match, Qatar, you know, a wealthy Middle Eastern country because of the resources, oil, and whatever. Uh, in sand, I guess. Um, and they were and they were uh, supposedly going to pay a certain amount of Ecuadorian players to basically lose the match, so then Ooh. Qatar can and Qatar can win the first match, and uh, that like you know that rumor. I don't know if it was a rumor or it was something real. Uh, came out, and then obviously also they were stating like, oh yeah, you know, we're gonna uh, um, sell like alcohol, um, which we're not promoting, but they were saying like, oh, we're gonna sell alcohol like at the games, right? Right. Middle Eastern country, uh, a lot of them are Muslim. Muslims don't drink alcohol. Um, Then like last minute they backed out and said, oh, you know what? No, we're not gonna sell any alcohol at all. Um, You know, so everyone's just like, oh, all the people that were gonna go, like, oh, that's messed up. Another thing was that supposedly they were also paying like, Middle Eastern people or people from Qatar to like dress up and basically cheer and be on like uh basically say like oh we're uh 
we're fans from this country or mm. oh yeah we're supporting this country but like you know they were saying that they were themselves like from that country so like oh okay, okay. Like, so they uh, were trying to prop up their team yeah basically and pretty much hype them up more than what they actually were yeah as far as a team being good yeah and possibly even having to pay someone to lose a game so that they can look good in the eyes of their citizens exactly i mean who doesn't want to win the first match and and yeah, oh that's but true. but they lost they lost um two to zero so ecuador oh, okay, scored okay. two goals yeah it was pretty cool see okay i i've played soccer in the past and okay. it's, it's a fun sport but the only thing i don't get is a sport supposed to be kind of like a competition i just feel like it goes too slow i mean like that entire game lasted what like a solid um 90 long, minutes 90 minutes yeah but spread out through periods because they have uh, like their own breaks and everything. Yeah. So a couple hours, and at the end, it's just two to zero, versus like a <laughs> basketball game. <laughs> they're, like, they're like they're like in 80, the hundreds, 70s, 80, 70s, 100. 70s, 100s. I, I I understand that. Like, and that's why a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like soccer. It's too slow, or like they don't even score that many goals, or like they're just running back and forth, or they only use their legs. I'm like, yeah, mm. but I I guess you have to have like a you have to like it from the beginning, like, and you have to understand it. Like, yeah, you're not going to be scoring like a bunch of, you know, points and blah blah blah. Um, but I don't know. I, I've always liked it. My parents like it. My family um, and uh, I like watching it. I don't mind it. Um, but it's it's exciting when you're like when you have two really good teams that are going back and forth and they're really at it. And even if no one scores or maybe it goes to like one zero two zero, like mm-hmm. it's it's the excitement is where they're like. And they no, can tie, right? They can tie, yeah. They yeah. can tie, uh, and then some matches will go to a penalty goal. So it all it's it's kind of like if you have good teams and they're really like competing to like score, um, you can see it, you know. And I guess it makes it exciting. I don't know. I like it. Some people might not. Um, I like it too, but I just wish maybe it. How much? Okay, what? Let me ask you this because you've you've played it, you've seen it, you know, kind of the whole World Cup thing. I didn't really yeah. know too much of it other than I played it when I was younger for a league. I know the rules and everything, but how much better would it be if the if the field was half the size? Oh, um, how many more points? Do you think it would even make a difference? I think it would. Oh yeah, it would definitely. Make you think a huge they difference. would score more and have more energy to like maybe attempt more riskier um, strategies to making a point or yeah something like that. Yeah, because they're, they're running back and forth like, like a crazy. bunch. Like supposedly, like they said that. They would run miles like in one match, like soccer players will usually run miles, yeah. you know. Um, but I would say, yeah, I think it would make a huge difference. But It'd you know, like fifty-two to like forty-nine or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, it would probably be like a lot of scores. Um, if I play, I suck at playing, so like I, I'm left-footed too. Like I can't kick with my right. I can't even take control of the ball. I can run fast. Wait, so you kick with your left? I kick with my left. Wait, do you do? Because I know a lot of people, it's not the right way to do it, but I do it that way, uh-huh. where you kick the ball and with the point of your foot. And oh, I know that's yeah. not the way you're supposed to do it. Yeah. You're supposed to do it with the, the, the side, side of, of it, your like foot? the inside of it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, different people will kick differently. I don't How know. do you kick? Uh, with my like knee. The, the <laughs> <laughs> I'll knee it. Ah! <laughs> I get on one knee. Uh, I kick with my left foot, but I kick, um, I used to like kick with a point and then sometimes like, uh, or the end. And then uh, the side, yeah. Yeah, just but it like supposedly I looked into it, and it like it technically you lose more control of the ball if you kick it like if you co- kick it like that because there is no point of like contact that it it's actually directing it to. Oh yeah, it's just kind of like wherever whatever point you hit of your like the point mm-hmm. of your foot, that direction is gonna go flying. That's so where if the ball it goes. Go. It's gonna yeah. go to the left, right, straight uh, up. I mean, you, okay, know, you, yeah. you don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess um, I don't know too much about it, but I'm I'm sure like that's how. Um, yeah, how you win or lose. But. So, who do you think is gonna win? Like, <laughs> um, I personally. Do, do you remember who won last year? Yeah, last year was France. France. Yeah, I think it was France, and that was played in Russia. Um, and then, well, it wasn't last year; it was four years ago. Right. And then four years before that, um, Spain won. Correct me if I'm wrong, people. Um, and they played in Spain. Won. They played in Germany or South Africa. I forgot the one. Um. So I think a lot of European countries have always won the World Cup and a couple of South Americans, so Brazil, Argentina, and I don't know if Uruguay. But um, I like, um, I would want like Mexico to, Mexico. like, uh, yeah, it's my go-to team. Like I always cheer for them, but they just suck. Let's just be honest, but they suck. If you, if you had like a top three teams 
for the World Cup, who, who what teams would they be? Um, like that I choose, or like, like I, you obviously Mexico is the top one. Mexico's one. A uh, U.S. is number two. U.S. is number two. Definitely gotta uh, represent. Go <laughs> represent. Um, and then three would be. Um, I, I lived in Germany, so I think Germany would be Germany my third would one. Be yeah. yeah, but um, I also would like to see some like maybe Central American countries or South American countries win it. You know, yeah. or at least to get to the semifinals or quarterfinals, that'd be great. You know. Yeah, that's true. But uh, yeah, who, no. Who do you think is gonna take it this year? Though? This year, I feel like Brazil. Brazil, or maybe um, could be. Um, South Africa. South Africa. No, they're not even in it. <laughs> See, this, is how, this is how much I know about the World Cup. It's like I'm making up teams that don't have teams. Oh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Wakanda. Wakanda. <laughs> the Wakanda uh, team. That's not even a country. <laughs> I, that's what you think, but I'm sure it is. I saw it in the movie. Oh, it's a real okay, country. Okay, yeah. There's people in there. Uh, There's people Wakanda. there. Um, what's it called? I don't know. Yeah, either Brazil or... Argentina or Spain. um yeah maybe I don't maybe know Spain. I don't know too many good teams I I, I only think I'm only thinking of the good players so like Messi's and Argentina where, where is Messi I've heard I know he's a famous um soccer player soccer yeah. player but I've never like you don't know much about where, him. Where, where is he even from where he's Argentinian he's Argentinian he's, uh oh, okay. yeah and he plays for the um when he represents or he'll play for Argentina when he represents oh okay, okay. his soccer team See, yeah I did not know that yeah and uh but he plays usually for um Barcelona in Spain the the football club in in, in Spain uh-huh. um FC Barcelona and then um He's like one of the top best, and then um, what's it called Ronaldo or Ronaldo, Ronaldo as well, Ronaldo, right? Ronaldo. Yeah. Ronaldo. Uh, he plays for he's Portuguese, so he'll always plays uh, play for Portugal, and he plays for I don't know what team he plays, uh, Ma- Real Madrid. Or, Real, oh Real yeah, Madrid. yeah, I've seen the, the Barcelona, the, Real Madrid, Real Madrid, and then Madrid. Yeah, yeah, those think, are the two teams. I think so. I've seen their flags. Their, their flags are kind of. A little bit trippy, trippy too. Yeah, because it's like one like, of them literally it. says "Real Madrid," then the other one just says "Madrid." Yeah, but uh, like they different. they got they got there first, even though they're not Madrid. <laughs> they, mm-hmm. they got it or so much. We're real. They're we're not. Um, but yeah, soccer is interesting. I like it. You know. Yeah. D- does your family like? Are they as into it as you? Uh, my dad and my older brothers for sure, and then my mom's like, "Hey, whatever." But yeah, a lot of my family members are always into it. Um, we always love to watch all the matches, and my dad's a huge uh, soccer fan, so that I think I got it from them. Do you have to pay for like? You know how like sometimes you have to like get a specific channel um, to get like the, to watch the World Cup, like, like let's say the Super Bowl or like UFC fight. You have to pay for oh, like yeah. pay per view or something like that, or maybe not pay per view, but like. A specific cable or, or cable a, or channel or yeah, something like, like you know it. the Super Bowl sometimes will be on Fox or yeah. actually no uh, Super Bowl be, will be on uh, it'll be Fox. one of the free networks though I mean it's would not it free um, yeah yeah no, the Super Bowl was yeah, always but like always, you, you know what I mean yeah. uh, where would where would a, like a lot of people because I, f- I have a feeling like a lot of people like me wouldn't even know how to watch it or where wh- to watch it the fact that the first game was today yeah. The fact that you could watch it yeah. or where to watch it. Like, where did you watch it? Okay, so I, my brother was able to get Spectrum. So we're watching it um, on Spectrum. And I have the app on my t- smart TV. Oh, no. so it's included with the, yeah, with the Spectrum app. Yeah, so okay. you could watch it like on um, Telemundo or uh, I forgot what other channel. The sport, uh, ESPN maybe, if it's already included in your plan. Um, but it was early in the morning. It was so because they're playing oh, it over there the on the other side of the country. Yeah, yeah, different time. And so... Uh, I think it started like at seven in the morning. I was asleep, and then I just woke up to the last ten minutes. But I was like, whatever, you know. But you saw the ending. I saw the ending. It was two zero. So it was like, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah it's, so pretty cool. it's pretty pretty interesting. Yeah, you know, I know some stuff about soccer. Like you know about football. I don't know much about football. See, I think a lot of people think I know a lot about football, but when it comes down to it, you don't know anything. <laughs> I'm just as clueless as <laughs> I'm just like ah. Google. I think um, just because I played it. And I have a favorite team doesn't mean that I know everybody on the team, uh-huh. what formation they're doing. Yeah. I mean, if they're running a specific play, like I, 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 I just <laughs> hope I hope my team wins. But that's pretty much it. Oh, okay. Like kind of like like I don't know the <laughs> circumference of the ball, like or or um, who's playing for each team and if they get traded or something like that. That's yeah. why if, with fantasy football, I never really got into it because because of the fact you don't that, have fantasy. Yeah, yeah. That's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, have fantasy. I have fantasies. I promise you. That's going to be next episode. <laughs> next episode. All right. Well, let's, uh, well, well last question. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Does uh, your parents or, or your brothers and your dad have a specific favorite team? Uh, my dad loves Pumas, Unam from Mexico. My older brother would probably like, um, 
probably like Real Madrid, yeah, from Spain. Oh, really? And, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. And then my favorite team is uh, Bayern Munich. It's a football club in Germany. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, from uh, Munich. They're they're a great team. I remember when I lived over there, at, like over there in Germany, they love soccer. So any German peeps, you know what I'm talking about. Like they love their soccer teams. They're loyal. They get excited. They get like all turned up for all those uh, all the matches and stuff. But um, yeah, I liked uh, because remember Andy. He yeah. loved uh, he loved um, Bayern Munich. Was oh like, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he, he was a big beat. soccer fan too. Yeah. Yeah. And that's oh, yeah. one of the clubs over there. Yeah, it was one of the clubs. I'm guessing yeah, that good. they pick like specific people from those teams uh-huh. that are doing really good, and they put them together. Put them together to create the team for like Germany. Yeah, for each uh, country. Yeah. So like yeah. you know, if you're really good in your team in Mexico, they're gonna say like, all right, you're in the team. Yeah. Yeah. So in a weird way, um, they do that with. Football? football, but they do it for the the Rose Bowl. Oh, the Rose Bowl. Yeah, yeah when they the play Pro Bowl. Against. Sorry, the Pro Bowl. Oh. They normally do it at the Rose Bowl some, oh, okay. sometimes. Cool. But uh, yeah, they pretty much grab like different players from different teams and they do the Pro Bowl there, oh. which is not that big of a deal because it's the, it's the game before like the, the Super Bowl. Super Bowl yeah. Um, or they do it a little bit before that, but uh, that you'll see like each team like each position you'll see like oh they have their own logo but they have the same color oh okay but it's it's like this guy's from the rams or this guy's from oh, that's the cool. chargers or this guy's from who knows whatever other Dolphins. other football team Tigers. the patriots or or, or uh the 49ers yeah, yeah. yeah. And like the quarterback is like from the chiefs or something like that so oh. and uh cool. but they'll be like okay this is red this is blue or something uh-huh. like that. they'll normally do like east versus west oh yeah that's yeah. right yeah. yeah cool yeah yeah but yeah, that is uh that's uh my two cents from the Your world two cup. Two cents from the world 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 world, 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 world cup. World cup. Um, cheers. Cheers. Coffee. Coffee's pretty good, huh? Yeah, it is pretty good. For the for those who don't know, this coffee actually smelled really really bad. Yeah, because well, it was super strong and potent, but it's actually really really good. Well, yeah, and it's fresh out of the box. So yeah, yeah, cool cool. So I think we're gonna jump over to our next topic, which I think a lot of people want to know this. And I wanted to know it too. So the reasoning behind Skipper. Skipper. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I just like to skip along the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> he skips along the sidewalk and he's just like, oh, yeah. And then that's why we're like, oh, look at that weirdo. <laughs> yeah. I think his name is Skipper. You just skip me on the road. <laughs> hey, Skipper, come hang out with us. <laughs> and that's how I met Alex. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like to skip through songs. That's why I'm like, ah, this song yeah, sucks. Not, and this yeah. sucks. So, yeah. Oh, this one's good. Some Taylor Swift. Okay, cool. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Um, no, so Skipper. Um, so it derives from um, if you're in the military or at least in the Navy, you know, they call it the captains the of ships or stations or wherever. Skippers. So skippers. like, oh, Skipper's here, blah, blah, blah. The, the one in charge. The one in charge, the CEO, the, the commanding officer, the, you know, head honcho. Um, so that's what they call the captain. It doesn't necessarily have to be the rank of a captain. It could mm-hmm. be like the b- lowest one or, or it could be like a rank before or after. But either way, whoever's in charge, in whoever's charge the it. commanding officer will be their captain and will. Uh, so like if the captain died, the next person in charge is now considered the skipper. Yeah, yes, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Nah. But I'm not a captain. I never was. I was only enlisted in the Navy. So. And I was also on the reserves, but I never was an officer. So I, we just skipped it because I liked it. It sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Um, it it, it kind of went perfectly with him. Yeah. But why don't we, um, why, why, you, you got in when? I joined the Navy, the Uznavi, back in 2014 when I was in college. I was at going to. Uh, it was right after high school, right? Uh, oh, a little graduated. bit after. A little bit. Uh, so I graduated 2012. 2012, like, yeah, yeah. We both graduated 2012. I, I went to Germany for a couple months, came back, started a community college. And then uh, a recruiter was like, hey, you like donuts? I'm like, yeah. You want to come and sign up? I'm like, yeah. So that's how they got That's me. exactly how they got that's him in how, there. That's how I got in the Navy. And then I was like, oh, I don't know why. How, how was that process? <laughs> like, um, um, they needed to test you, right? They yeah, you the test? ASVAP. Is ASVAP? That ASVAP? Yeah, you, you take an exam. You go to MEPS. You go to MEPS, um, and you're there for however long. It could be a couple of weeks, months, years, depending on like when you're, like, you're, you're going to be able to First sign send in, out to boot camp. Yeah. I heard that a lot of them were... Depends on when you go to boot camp because of like what schooling you're going to go to. Uh, right. Um, yes and no. Um, so, yeah, they tell you like, hey, you're going to sign up for or like, hey, you want to join the month? Yeah. How many years? Oh, X amount of years. Oh, OK. What kind of job do you want? It's kind of sometimes they you're kind of voluntold like, oh, we only have these jobs, you know, and you're like and that I made that mistake of like, oh, I was I believe them. I'm like, oh, oh I'll, I'll take that one, you know. 
But no, you, if you like, tell them like, no, what I don't job want did any. you pick? ET electronics technician. Electronics technician. So um, oh, I, I went to A school, then the C school for it. It's basically like, um, man, it was crazy. I, I haven't even applied it to like any real life thing. But um, All we, right, how how was the the whole boot camp? Because I know oh I, boot camp was fun. I, I liked it. It was kind of crazy. How Kids long was it? Cry. Um, it was two months exactly. Two months. I th- remember. I think I started like first week of January, and then uh, last day of let's see, January, February, like a little bit before March was when we graduated. It was uh, up in Great Lakes, Illinois, so north of Chicago. North of Chicago. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. it was cold. It was cold, huh? It was freezing. Cold. So you pretty much Kids right after. Death college or not right after college during college during college you talked to a recruiter they said okay you have to go take this test you went to maps Mm -hmm. and where's maps at um uh, i think maps is is well i'm spacing out um maps is the time when you're waiting until you're sent to i thought it was a location no there's a like the biggest one is in la by the airport there's a huge like recruiting center or it's like where they take everybody to like get take their your physical. official asvap and everything yeah and exactly and you oh, okay. your job and stuff so you went through there chose your job which was the et 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 okay, that was weird <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm gonna have to delete that from the scene. <laughs> All right, so you you went through that, you chose your job, yeah, and then they pretty much said, okay, you're gonna be getting shipped off. Yeah. How how long from the time you took uh, your test till? Well, I don't. Remember. I think you know what? It might have been like a little bit after May. So I was in the waiting process for a couple months, and uh, and then yeah, they're like, all right, you know, you're you're getting. But you were already physically there already, right? I yeah, mean, like, yeah. You weren't like out of shape like me. No, of course. How to lose any weight? <laughs> I was like Danny, Donnie Darko, where he was like, he'll be okay, you know. Yeah. Um, I wasn't like super fit. I'm not. I'm still not. But um, you were like you you were capable of yeah like, whatever yeah requirements they needed like you to all do. the running push ups sit ups ups, sit-ups yeah, where, was there any requirements. Cake. Uh, yeah, you had to run the mile and a half uh, at a certain time, and it all depends your age, uh, number of push-ups and sit-ups you have to do at a certain time, and then you also some other like little things. But um, it is going to be hard if you're not physically prepared before you go in. Like, if so in other words, you can't be like me. I right mean, now. can you run a mile and a half like under like twelve minutes? Oh yeah, I, I think you can. That. there you go. See, and then push-ups. I'm sure you could do like how many? Uh, at your age. Five and a half. No, <laughs> no. I, can, I can do that. Okay, Actually, uh, I don't know. Maybe it I'm might talking. be. No, it might be more. It's probably like forty something. No, more. Yeah, I'm sure it's more. Well, how how many did they require you to do? At your uh, age? Like the younger you are, the more you have to do, or oh, faster okay, okay. you have to do everything. Um, so it's probably like 80, 60, 80, 80 push-ups, ninety sit-ups. So if and they give you two minutes to do each. Um, I remember that was the test. Maybe it's Ooh, changed right. or something. Yeah, like that. that actually sure would be a little like bit. That difficult but it's you have to push yeah. yourself you know yeah you would you definitely have to push yeah yourself. you have to push yourself so you, you did all that yeah you finally that, get basically took the test get, yeah you took the test you're probably what did they take you, you on a bus you. or how did they take you okay so like yeah they um you they meet up, you up they pick you you go to the like the, your local recruiting station they, oh, okay they drop you off at lax they give you like your orders and like okay you're supposed to go over there and you take a plane you know fly to Chicago and someone will meet you and then you take a bus and then uh, you get to the boot camp place and it's at, like I still have like those memories like and was it I, scary I tell people it's it's it is scary I'm gonna admit it it is like a little intimidating they're like you know they already have you lined up and they're like all right put all your belongings in a box blah 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 or you're gonna you know package it and send it we're gonna send it off to your house blah, blah blah and then they like make you or they say like all right you get one last phone call and then you throw your cell phone in the box and i like i call my mom I'm like, ma, I'm ma i want to go home i don't want to be here it's cold in chicago <laughs> but i'm like hey ma yeah yeah i'm, I'm good you know i'll talk to you uh, later, like she's a like, months. yeah, she didn't even answer that. <laughs> I left her voicemail. Voice <laughs> she clicked on she's it. She's like, delete. <laughs> <laughs> delete. She's like, oh, who's this? Alex. Oh, oh yeah, that's my son. No, <laughs> she she picked up and I was like, uh, uh, no, but I was like, all right, mom, you know, blah, blah. And then, you know, it from there, like, that's where your life begins in boot camp. It's more mental, a uh, mental challenge than 
physical challenge. It was really? like that for me, you know? Yeah, it was just kind of like you're deprived of a lot of, you know, like things. Sleep or... Uh, that, or that yeah. Foods. You go to sleep late, you wake Free up time. early. Um, th- you don't have a lot of leisure time, yeah. And uh, you're constantly doing something. They're yelling at you. You know, like, you need to do everything right from the beginning. You know, they're telling you how to, like, fold your sheets, your bed, how to, like, properly stow away, like, um, your belongings, how to fold your clothes, how to fold your how underwear. Fold your clothes? Yeah, and I didn't even wear underwear, so I'm like, how do I even fold it? No, <laughs> just kidding, I do. Uh, they issue you clothes too, right? Because you said you th- all your yeah. belongings are yeah. sent yeah. back home? Yeah, they give you, like, you know, like, your sweats. That's how oh, your what sweats. you had. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your navy, blue yeah. navy sweats. Yeah, and navy, like sweats. A navy jacket. Or and something. the yellow shirt, like, that's yellow what we shirt. would wear all the time in the beginning. And then they shave your head off, and I'm like, even the girls Oh, they do shave it. it there? Yeah, dude, they shave the girls. They shave the girls? No, just kidding. Oh, I was going to say, like, what? <laughs> I thought they just like all the like women that. are like I wouldn't enjoy it, but not anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it's like you're like constantly like you know. I remember there were times I was like almost falling asleep. You know, they chew you out for like doing anything and everything. Like if you didn't even do anything wrong, they would still like find a way. They'd find a way to like, okay, yeah, we haven't shoot this guy out. Kind of doing everything kind of right. Well, yeah, but in a way, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't like tripped over that rock the other day. So <laughs> yeah, I'm like oh, you idiot, you know. Uh, but it, it had its good moments, you know. It had its like. What was the hardest part? The hardest part, um, like physically and then mentally. Like okay. Physically, it was there like a specific. Yeah, there's an event before oh, you event. graduate from your from the academy where it's like for two days straight you don't sleep. There's a night where you just you're awake the whole night and it's called Battle Stations. Oh my god, I just remember the Battle name, Station. dude. Battle Stations. All the people that are they're in there, the they, 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 they remember that. They remember the, that day or those two days. Battle Stations, dude. Oh, it was horrible. It was a nightmare. You're like wide awake the whole time and you're in different like little groups of like six or seven people and you're like, you have to go to this place and then you have to do this. And then you're like constantly like kind of like it's a scenario as if you're. Is this outside or inside? It's okay. So imagine this huge. Huge uh, ship, like a, you know, like a destroyer or oh, okay, okay. like one of those na- military navy ships, and it's like a portion of it, like a huge like facility that they just cut out, and it's kind of like you do, you're doing scenarios or you're doing like like real life kind of like training. And there's different rooms, and you're supposed to go over there, and then over here, and then over there, and you're supposed to do like different things. Do it like it wasn't more. It was like I mean, it's easy stuff. Like you just like you know you're there, and like okay, whatever. But like trying to stay awake like during that yeah, time. Yeah, it's like three in the morning. You're like, ah, do I really need to? Dude, you don't even have a concept of time. This? Yeah, you're just like you're like go uh, go. You don't really go, have go. a watch or anything. Yeah, your phone. eventually, like I got a watch or something. And they go to they allow you to go to the next the naval exchange room. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there. And you just buy stuff and. uh What's it called? Yeah, no, it's 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 pretty crazy. Like, I think the coolest thing is like that you meet a lot of people from around the country and even from out of the country that join the military. Right. Uh, and they eventually become U.S. citizens. And um, it was pretty cool. It was like a group of 80 people in my like your class. barracks, my class. Or your, your barracks, yeah. Yeah, and uh, 80 people. So it's a lot of people that I met. And um, to this day, I think I still like keep in contact with maybe a few. Um, but I like that. I like the camaraderie and like that group unity and you know there's always like one of those you know like bad apples where people are like oh, oh. You know? but so the most difficult thing was the obstacle course because of the fact that you were sleep deprived deprived yeah what about the most mental challenging. difficult oh. me- mentally challenging part i think like not knowing anything about like the outside world that was the cr- oh, crazy thing like okay, you didn't okay. you didn't like i mean you weren't supposed to have phones i don't think anyone ever had phones in our place and we didn't know about like anything and uh i can recall like when we like those after those two months because you don't there's no tvs there i mean there'll be tvs but like showing like the food menu or weather Mm. but besides that you didn't know what was going on outside of the world like you know you know there could have been like I don't know, like an explosion, explosion or explosion, someone like another being the president, or I don't Pray know. God doesn't happen, but yeah, something crazy. Like they don't tell you. You're like, what the heck? Um, so you don't know anything. You don't know. And then you also like, I never even got to talk to my mom or my parents. Like they don't do letters. Yeah, you can do letters. Yeah. Oh, okay. But my mom doesn't know how to write. So I didn't know. <laughs> funny. And was, you don't know how to read. <laughs> I don't know how to read. So if they send me stuff, I'm like, hey, uh, so and so, can you read this? <laughs> like, oh yeah. Um, Did anybody ever write you? Yeah, my mom did. Yeah, oh, yeah? So it was okay. cool. But like all late, like my letters, like, like oh, towards the end. Yeah, thanks, mom. Like no, that. yeah, all late. Um, was it just like one or like two letters? Two letters. Yeah, and okay. I'm like, whatever. But I, I would have written you. Oh. There would have been a lot of like drawings, <laughs> 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 little kids. Crayon. Joel. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> Alex. <I love> you. <laughs> Alex. 
<laughs> um, I, but I didn't know you, huh? Really? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, which is kind of weird because a lot a lot of people uh, know that we're we're pretty much best friends. Um, at least I think it. <laughs> um, I thought so. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, and we didn't meet until college. Right. After you were already back from from the, the academy, boot camp, yeah, yeah, boot camp. Um, but we we actually ended up going to the same middle school. Yeah, that's tr- yeah. that's true. We went to the same middle school. Same middle school, and but originally when we first met, it was we were taking uh, uh, our because well, we had we had pretty much the same. Oh, oh. sorry. Uh, we had pretty much the same. Um, what's it called? Uh, uh, majors. Major. My major was administration of justice and your major was actually administration of justice oh it was yeah yeah it was the same one. okay yeah. so we had the same major. i that's thought it was criminal justice no no I, that's my um, bachelor's but my uh, oh okay okay so yeah we we pretty much had the same major um yes. and we were uh taking the same class yes two classes two, two classes yeah the first class criminal we procedures to, criminal procedures with roman yeah with roman and, and the then, other one was with Bo- no, botch uh, no camarillo camarillo yeah camarillo um and uh it was funny because the first class the first day, he you were touched I was, me. I was sitting behind you. Y- y- right. And then uh, I forgot. We, we started talking about something. We were complaining about like or making fun of other people or the we're teacher. We were making fun <laughs> of other people and the teacher. <laughs> and uh, he was just a total same stranger. And I was just yeah. like obviously making jokes. And he started making jokes too. And then, uh, yeah, he, <laughs> <laughs> he was sitting in front of me. And then like a couple days later, I think it was like the following. No, the next or the uh, yeah, a couple days yeah, later because the, the other class were like Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, like t- Tuesdays and so Thursdays. The, we met on the Tuesday, but then on Thursday, our second class that we had, I got Camera. there early and sat in the front, and yeah. he sat right behind me. Yeah. So the first class I sat in, in behind him, and then the second class he sat behind me. Yeah. And then we just like I guess we realized yeah. like oh we're in the same class yeah. or like we, we have two same classes and. You know, we started just chit chatting, and we would yeah. make fun of people. We would make fun of a lot of people. Oh, that's like up. we were, oh, we seen. were, yeah. <laughs> but then we were also, we also like met a lot of like different people that that's true. that uh we, like, were in we the same classes. Too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because I guess it's um like a lot of the yeah the, the same requirements majors yeah. and minors would be able to like you know you would take the same classes so you got you got so, you saw the same faces. Yeah. Um, and you know we had um. Camarillo in that class. We, Camarillo we, in one class and then we, Roman in Roman. the other class. And they were small classes. Oh, the Roman one at least was like, what, was 12 like people? 12 people. Yeah. Was, these, are, these are night classes too because yeah. um, I you did work. after work and then I think you were uh, working too and Navy reserves. Navy, something like that, yeah. Yeah, and then um, same thing with the other, co- the other class. Yeah. Um, after hours, it was uh, in the afternoon that we yeah. normally would take it. But we would go to the parking lot and uh, we would be in the parking lot talking to everybody for a while yeah for hours and then eventually like everybody night, started the going, lights would turn yeah, off for the, the lights would college. turn off and, and we're like oh okay and then we'd still stay there for like a couple more hours yeah just talking and um yeah it was it was fun it was we, fun we met a lot of people and we yeah. messed with a lot of people that's too. true not in a bad way mm-hmm. nothing illegal and nothing well, not, nothing like bull- we weren't bullying not illegal anybody anymore. yeah no it wasn't like bad we weren't bullying we weren't doing anything illegal we weren't um it was more of like fun like, for us, more if we were just yeah. Like there was know, a couple fair. things where like we played a couple pranks. Like, yeah, like uh, dumb the little banker. Pranks. I messed with him the a couple times. Banker, um, the uh, Chase guy. Chase, Chase. Well, Chase was cool because we kept in touch with Chase. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, actually he ended up. Uh, yeah, he's a chippy. He works for the Highway Patrol. And he works for the Highway at Patrol at the same too. office that I work at. Yeah, he's he's always like you know, if Chase, you see this, you're a great officer. Yeah, you Chase, are the California you. Highway Patrol. And we miss you, and we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> we, we, no, we, should, uh, we should invite him on the podcast. I, I think he would love it. We could talk. Mm. He has so many stories. Oh, I wouldn't doubt he it. He worked in West LA. He's a uh, motorcycle. Yeah, motorcycle. Uh, uh, CHP officer. Yeah, yeah. yeah he wor- he's a motorcycle, and he's a more. He's not a motorcycle. He transformed mm. into a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> but he he's a motorcycle. He could have been a motorcycle. He could have. I can see. <laughs> no, that. he had it. He had a. Okay, oh, I don't the, know why. I, motorcycle. Uh-huh. Chase had money. We just knew that. That's one one of the jokes that we would say. Like uh-huh. we would mess with him because he was like the nicest little white dude, which is funny. But yeah, he was the nicest little white dude. <laughs> Sorry, James. Uh huh. And <laughs> and um, but he we knew like okay, how do you how can you afford all this stuff? So he Going had like a. 
Uh, how can you afford all of that going to college? Dur- during college, because everybody else is like, everybody's driving like... He had a, yeah. But he had a Ford Mustang, right? He had a Ford Mustang and a, a, a BMW, and BMW motorcycle. Oh, BMW motorcycle. motorcycle that's what so it it's was. like, what are you doing? Like, And you're going to was, school full time. He was doing like, something right, apparently. Yeah, We're apparently. like, my little Honda he bought, a house? he bought a house too. Yeah, I think so. Huh? Yeah. That's crazy. Good for him. You know, yeah. hard work pays off. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, Very hard working. Apparently not my hard work. But he goes uh, by the book a lot. Yeah, he does. And that's why we mess with him so much because we would like joke with him and he'd be like, no, we can't do that. And we're like, no, <laughs> we weren't serious. Like, we're just joking. But yeah. Yeah. He was, he was a cool dude. Yeah. And then I remember, uh, I remember what's called um, the girl where her boyfriend would stalk us or would come and. Oh, yeah. Like, we she, won't say any names. Yeah, but we're not going to say names. Yeah, that was weird because like we got in trouble a couple. Well, not got in trouble. Like, he would show up and oh, right. be like, no, remember that one time where. Like he was texting her, which she was our classmate, yeah. and like she, we were all talking right with a bunch of other people. We were just chilling after class, yeah. And she didn't respond back. And apparently, he like came, like he drove from his house, drove all to the like the, the parking lot, and then he like even drove around. Didn't even stop to like say, "Hey, babe, I texted you," or like, "Hey, I was just checking you know, out." Or yeah, like you that. know, oh, you didn't he reply, so that's why. And was like, looked at her, and kept just, driving, then came back the other direction, and true. then came back again. And she's like, what's wrong with him? Yeah, like... Uh, Even like, us, we were like, uh, you want to text him and tell him that you're going to go home? Or yeah. Or something? Yeah. Or, oh, um, remember your uh, uh, your twin? There was a twin. Oh, my evil twin? Yeah, your evil twin. Yeah. That's crazy. There was uh, this girl that her... Was it her fiancé? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. It was her fiancé apparently looked exactly like me. And then we finally see a picture of her. And I'm like, Joel! She's like, <laughs> are you related to this person? I'm like, No. And she's like, are you sure? Like, you're not, I think his last name was like Ramirez or yeah. something like that. Or Hernandez or something, something with the, something. Yeah. Like that. And, um, I was like John or Jonathan yeah. or something like that. And I'm like, no, like not related nah, to anybody like that. Nah, fool. And, uh, <laughs> nah, that ain't me. and then she's like, cause you look exactly like my fiance. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and then she, funny. eventually she showed us a picture and it looked like I was there. She showed us a picture of, of her and her, her fiance yeah. uh, taking a picture. It was him. And um, it literally looked like me yeah. taking a picture like that. Yeah. It was weird. Fun I times. Have, I, have, I have evil evil twins out evil there. Evil twins out there. Be careful. Fantasma. Yeah. But then after that, what ended up happening? Uh, you quit. I, I quit. You, you uh, what's called? Um, <coughs> I dropped out. I dropped out. I'm I dropped trying out to think of, college, of like, how do you call that? Call yeah. out? You called out? <laughs> <I> call, <laughs> you officially called I out did, of college. I did the official call out. Yeah. Um, I dropped out of college, and we went Ooh. on two separate, very different paths. Yeah. But I think we both were very successful. Yeah. Very I, I, I think so, too. Cheers to that. Cheers to here, that. Here, here, salud. Chin, chin. Cheers Oh, yeah. And fist bump it. Yeah, it was... Uh, if I think about it, we met like <coughs> seven years ago, 2015. Yeah, like seven years ago. That's yeah. when we met in college. You know, we are both dirt bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were just not the best, but, you know, I think we, we definitely... We definitely know. came out very successful at the end. Alex actually ended up finishing school, got his associates in administration of justice, ended up leaving Ventura College and going to... CSUN. California Season. State University of Northridge. Yeah. Northridge. Matadores. Graduated with the Matadors there in his bachelor's of criminal justice, yeah. right? criminal justice. Got that, and he ended up continuing to pursue school with uh, technically your fire technology. Fire technology degree. Yeah. I totally forgot I did that. <laughs> <laughs> that was like two years of my life. Yeah. Um, yeah I, you got your uh, uh, fire second, tech, uh, second uh, associates? associates. Yeah, associates. Yeah. Which th- that was kind of crazy. I didn't even know you could get more than one. Yeah, you, you could get like five. Yeah, <laughs> it's so, like the Infinity Stones. You can collect them all. Collect them all. <laughs> all your catch associates. Them all. <laughs> yeah. So you had pretty much your associates in administration of justice, your associates in fire technology, and your bachelor's degree from Northridge. Um, in bachelor, a bachelor's cr- cr- in yeah, criminal, criminal justice. justice. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And uh, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> But he's got this podcast, which that totally uh, outweighs the Bachelor and Associate. So, no, nah, not really. I'd rather have a podcast. No, I ended up. Do uh, they help? No, nah, I don't know. I ended up going into technically property management. Or, oh, yeah. Yeah. You like did property management. Work. Yeah. Yeah. And then I ended up slowly just building up from Porter there. Porter to Porter to a junior to, tech. Then tech manager. You were a manager. Senior tech, then. Um, 
from a senior tech to a supervisor and yeah. manager, and then the maintenance engineer um, over there, there at the junction. Engineer. Yeah. Ingeniero. And then uh, from there, I left to work at the base. Yes. With the with the uh, the oh, naval base. Lincoln. Lincoln. Yeah. And then from there, Abraham I ended up Lincoln. going to the union. Yeah. That's that took like two years to get into in the first crazy. place. That's pretty fast, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah because cool. uh, normally. Um, well, actually, I, I, I ended up uh, becoming a, a journeyman plumber, which because a lot of people don't know, I'm a plumber. Oh, <gasps> You're telling me that he went to school and I became a plumber and we're both successful? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I ended up becoming a plumber and... I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> he always tells me to call out. <laughs> oh, but no, you always <laughs> tell me to call out. I was going to say, oh, he's know, a bad I, influence. I always, Look, he I is a bad tell. influence. No, I'm not. He, I've called out. You called out a couple times. I hope my boss doesn't see this because oh, I was sick. Not. I was sick. <laughs> I am. Oh, <laughs> I was sick. Sick of work. <laughs> sick of work. <laughs> I mean, I was sick. It's true. I mean, it's, they give me the hours. You know. Yeah. I I sent uh, Megan, my bestie from LACC. Megan, shout out to you. Um, I always send her memes about work and stuff, and I sent her one. Um, that, it was funny. It says um. Uh oh, made my boss mad by using the vacation days my boss gave me. <laughs> <laughs> and then she sent sent me one. Um uh sorry I'm late, my alarm didn't go off because I didn't set it because I, I don't like coming here. <laughs> we always joke around about work. Um Which is kinda it's kinda funny how employers they do they do do that. They have like a tendency of like, okay, you have these vacation days and sick time, but we don't want you to use they them. get mad, like, oh mad. no, oh, denied, you, take you can't time do it. Off? I'm like, uh, can I, whatever, you know? So, uh, yeah, it's whatever. Um, what are you talking about? Um, um, successful. Yeah, we. Uh, I ended up uh, becoming a, a plumber journeyman and uh, in a pretty record-breaking time. Yeah, uh, yeah I that was so quick. Yeah, that's normally amazing. It takes, it takes five years to become a, plumber. A, a, a journeyman plumber, and I did it in three. Three, yeah. Instead of five years, I did it in Crazy. three. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, and then uh, Alex ended up be, uh, joining the CHP and became um, yeah not a chippy but a uh, dispatcher. Dispatcher. Yeah, I got arrested one time, and then they're like, "Hey, we're hiring." I'm like, "Hey, hey. <laughs> no, just that's not exactly I'm never like, been arrested." Um, that's that's a requirement. Uh, yeah, you can't be arrested <laughs> <laughs> to work there. Um, what's it called? Yeah, I applied back in. 2017. Yeah, and you said that the application process is very long too. It takes like it's about a, a year, right? Lengthy process, nine to twelve months. Nine to twelve months uh, to actually get hired. Yeah, but it was cool. It was, it was worth it. Um, hard did work. Did a lot of work in LA too. Yeah, I, I did a couple months in LA over there LA. by Glendale. That's where the LA Communication Center is at. Um, the crazy thing is that you have to learn a lot of like maps, right? Um, because you need to know the areas. You have to know the it. area, have a general sense of. of about it but you don't have to like know everything you know right there's a lot of like tools that help you they're like we get a, we have a map we're able to see your location when a call comes in not precisely but it's kind of accurate um so if i'm like calling because most of the time it's like, it has to be on a freeway or highway right uh you don't have to be on the freeway you could be like near you know, the freeway near the freeway or you know you could be in the middle of the city too and sometimes you'll get a like the call directed to us so we have to transfer the call depending on what kind of emergency it is um but yeah there's a lot of like you know stuff that kind of plays into it plays into it yeah yeah but yeah yeah no so been working there for a while it's great yeah. great place great stuff but yeah cheers 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 Salud. And I'm almost done with the, the coffee. We've been, we've been it's delicious. A, yeah, almost an hour. I mean, oh, we could, uh, gosh. I don't know if you wanted to jump into any other topics or. Um, mm, 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 mm. What else were we going to talk about? Oh. Um, I think, yeah, we already talked about how we met. We talked about the Navy and we talked about. I want to talk about our, our trips, like fun. And you tell me oh, like fun, okay. exciting trips that, you know, you can recall, like. I have some. I have, oh, know, we have so many. Canada, so, Vegas, TJ, Puerto TJ, Penasco, oh, yes. uh, that's Europe. One thing, that's one thing that we always do. We we prioritize on traveling. traveling. We love to travel. We've been to so many places together, 
And uh, we even went overseas once yeah. to, to Paris and Bahamas. London. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was another joke. I haven't been there yet. That, <laughs> uh, that was an evil twin. Bermuda, come <laughs> on, little mom. Sorry, I'm thinking of the song. Yeah, um, we went to Europe. We went to Paris. We drove, we drove all the way to Canada one time. That was, that was crazy. Intense. Coming back, that remember the coming back uh, part. I don't even want to. We took our that. time going to Canada, but coming back, yeah, we, we did had... it nonstop. Like, we just came, we drove from Vancouver, Canada, Pass through Oregon or yeah. Washington, well, well, originally Oregon, when, when we California. first left, we left from Ventura, right? Yeah, yeah, Ventura, and we drove all the way to San Jose, where we stayed with your cousin. Did we stay there? Yeah, we stayed there. Remember, we stayed, oh, we yeah, stayed yeah, the yeah. night. We, we, sp- we remember stayed the Seven Eleven, the chicken. Oh, the chicken, chicken finger figures. <laughs> yeah, they were actually pretty good. Yeah. So we 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 went to San Jose and we stayed with my cousin Isaac, San and then from there. We ended up going to San Francisco, San Francisco. for a little bit we and drove. Uh, we didn't actually stay the night. Yeah. We kept driving till we got to Oregon, P- Portland, Oregon. You stayed with your other cousin. Where we ended up, no, Washington. We, we That's when we stayed over there in Vancouver, oh, okay. Washington. Oh. Um, so we, we, we did stop, I think, at Port- a motel or something like that. Then we kept going to Portland, ventured around in Portland, also stayed with another uh, one of my cousins <laughs> in uh, Vancouver, Washington, which is not too far from Portland. Mm-hmm. And then from there, we ended up driving to Seattle. To Seattle. Spent a little bit of time there. That's right, yeah. I think we stayed somewhere. And then uh, from there... We went to Canada, Vancouver, yeah. Which I was going to say, you went across the-, the, the, the best part out of the entire trip... Was being with you. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> was uh, the Capilino <laughs> Suspension Bridge. Oh, yeah. That's right. That was in Canada, huh? That place is awesome. Highly recommend it. That's especially one of the top places to go. Like around this time we went. Around this time. Because we went they like put, two days before Thanksgiving. Is it a na- it's not a na- national park. It's like No, a, it's like just a random like outdoorsy park. Forest park. Forest park. So the cool thing about this place, other than it's it's pretty much a paid admission location, mm-hmm. it's just a park where you kind of walk around mm-hmm. and see different things. Yeah. Um and it's literally in, in Canada and in, in the forest. The forest. Uh, and then the the big big thing is the suspension bridge that that oh. goes right underneath the what is it? No, it goes above a river. I mean, right 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 above a, a river, huge river, a huge river, that's and the huge suspension bridge, the huge suspension bridge, and the lights. You know how they had like. Well, yeah, we went during Christmas, which that that's the best time to go. No, it was a little bit before no, Thanksgiving. Before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, but it was like yeah. they were already decorating for, for Christmas, Christmas, so it was so romantic. Joe and I were holding him. Uh, we I mean, were, <laughs> we were just we walking were not by. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, we might have a whole uh, It was a little nice. Bit, you know, we like, were single. Right. And we got. We, we needed someone else. It was cold. Anyways, <laughs> uh, and desperate. Uh, but uh, it was no, really it was, cool. It was. Yeah, it was really nice because they had like Christmas lights. Yeah. They had ornaments. They had um, like the designs. The different like you know lights. How they different made designs. Them. Yeah. And then this is like in a forest. Yeah. This is not like oh yeah you're going to a building or something. Like that. No. This is in a forest. In the, a forest. I don't, you don't even know how they're getting power out there. That's crazy. That's like, cool. Like they're just suspending. Uh, uh, like all the lights, and yeah. like lights and stuff like that over like a lake. Yeah, like if you were in the middle of the uh, of the forest. Yeah, and then they had like suspension bridges up above where you could be walking around, and there's um uh lights on those too. Mm-hmm. So it's just it looks great. There's wa- little waterfalls, little rivers. Yeah, and it's just awesome. And then it's they cool. have like a little so cool place where you can eat. And have a snack or something and like that. And buy souvenirs. That was kind of pricey. Yeah, we paid like 40 bucks each or more. Oh, no. It was like 90. Yeah, that you're right. Yeah, 90 each. It was They're expensive, like, but yeah. it was it was worth Canada it. Canada, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was cool. We went to Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons, we did. We did. Stop and by. It, it, was, it was all right. It was all right. Yeah. It was like a... What would you compare Carlos it to? Carlos Jr. Carlos Jr. Yeah. It looked like a Carlos Jr. Sorry, Canada. But they also had like breakfast stuff. Yeah. And like iced coffee, which the iced coffee was... Eh. Yeah, it was all right. We Stop went to that sushi place in Vancouver. It was already like the evening. Oh before. yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, saw the Trump the, Tower. Saw the Trump Tower. Yeah, we were yeah, by we there. Saw the Trump Tower, and then uh, buying souvenirs there. We we were gonna go to the Space Needle in Seattle, but we didn't get a chance to. It was, it was super yeah. windy. Yeah, but yeah, it, we went to the down. what's the call, uh, the market? Oh, the public market. Yeah. We went on the Ferris wheel in, in in Portland. We did that. So public market. We went to the first Starbucks ever that was. In located Seattle, in no located in Seattle. Oh yeah, Seattle. Yeah, Seattle. not Portland. Um, yeah, not Portland. We like Portland though. Portland, Portland was, was cool. Nice. And shout out to Portland people. Don't yeah, get crazy. They're, yeah, apparently they're crazy though. Yeah. After we left, yeah, we, we, they, we caused the problem. We were like, <laughs> and then like, we barked once, all the people started yeah. barking. But what we ended up doing was once we were in Canada, we decided, okay, it's time to go back home. Oh right. And we ended up driving from Canada 
nonstop all the way to San Francisco to eat breakfast. Yes. But that was horrible because that was a solid 15 hours yep. of nonstop driving. Yep. Mm-hmm. I started the drive and I remember we hit the border to Canada and like there was this lady that literally you have to show the passports and everything. Yeah. And uh, I was, I just, I just brought two big 20 ounce uh, bottles of, of Red Beer. Bull. Oh, Red Bull. <laughs> no, the, the <laughs> Red Bull. And um, I was just drinking them, like sipping on it, mm-hmm. sipping on it, finished the can. And I, I literally saw we passed Seattle. Yep. past portland and i just kept going and then like five hours in i was like dude we got to switch so like every five hours or two hours switch. or something like that we were switching i remember when you knocked out i think was i driving in san francisco or you were like when we were arriving Towards the end, yeah once we arrived you were driving in san francisco yeah you're like knocked out i was back. like oh like i was just dead yeah and then uh we still kept on going also we had breakfast at whiskers at whiskers yeah which or was whiskers. the breakfast place right oh there no no, no. whiskers whiskers we ate on the way there. Oh, on the way back, we ate where? Yeah, we, um, we got that tartar, not tartar. The oh, the thing at the Pier Thirty Nine. The bread, right? Yeah, the bread. Clam bread. chowder. Clam chowder. Oh, bomb. Clam chowder at Pier Thirty Nine yeah. oh, in San Francisco. If you ever go there, try that. Bomb. Bomb. That sounds Tabasco. delicious. That was our breakfast. We threw Tabasco, ate, enjoyed our time, and then drove. Started Slow driving drove. again. Yeah. We got down to. Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara, right? you dropped, dropped me off. off. Yeah, because I my family was celebrating. This was already Thanksgiving it was, day. It was already Thanksgiving day. So we were already like uh, late. Uh, and that's why we were like, okay, we got to drive all of Canada to get past <laughs> and get back home. Yeah. So we go. I drop him, on my, I drop him off with in my family, Santa, Barbara. Santa Barbara. So he stays there. But he still continued all I the way past driving. Ventura, going to LA, dude. I, no, I went Long to Ventura. Beach, right? I ended up stopping at, in Ventura to eat turkey dinner with some of my family mm-hmm. then we i kept going all the way to burping oh burping because there was a district convention that's right and i was you wanted to there. go yeah. yeah which i still have a picture of me at the at the district convention oh yeah that's funny yeah, i was all like that <laughs> <laughs> but no uh yeah i ended up going Crazy there trip, and then back home oh yeah back to ventura and then we went to the dj yeah. <laughs> oh, imagine man there was so many times where i i just drove too much puerto peñasco i drove seven hours straight Oh, that's right. Danny and I were the passengers, yeah. and we're like, "Oh, we're good." My legs Jojo. started hurting. <laughs> Crap, so I was up. like, "I need, a, I need to stop." I got off. My leg was hurting. I got in the back seat. I made them get in the passenger seat, and then they for made the last me, thirty minutes, yeah, they made me, they made me sit in the front by myself. <laughs> well, I mean, we're the, while I was driving for a good amount, and then you jumped into it and uh, like, but you guys yeah, were all bad. girlfriend and boyfriend back there yeah. <laughs> it was romantic yeah it was crazy though it was a cool trip too yeah. puerto Vallasco, uh, i would want to go back puerto Vallasco was nice we've been to tj tj a couple times we yeah we went uh we've been to Paris, we went to London, convention long beach convention we, uh mm, down in long beach yeah we've been to a lot of locations vegas we went to vegas um la a couple times we went yeah. to what's that lake and then the little san town san diego too yeah san diego oh yeah we did the lake which lake the sea salt one or like it's all like dried oh, up Oh, salvation mountain salvation there, like, mountain joshua tree yeah, past... yeah we actually took danny that time yeah danny Remember? came with us yeah the salvation mountain that was actually pretty cool it says like jesus saves or no jesus loves or something like that something like that and it's all paint in the middle of nowhere in the sand yeah that was pretty cool that was pretty cool yeah um but yeah we've been to a lot of places a lot of good fun memories that's why i have the the travel board with all the magnets that yeah we've got y'all can't see it behind you guys you guys can't see it we we i created a short um that you guys could probably check out and um it shows pretty much all the magnets that were on there yeah you went to prison uh, Uh, (laughs) (laughs) yeah but good stuff cancun too oh yeah but we haven't gone together we, we didn't go together you went separately yeah i went separately I went and I ended up going to like the all those giant water parks that yeah, are down there. Got it area. Best best water Explore. parks in the world are in Cancun. Those are cool. They have a lot of water parks. Beautiful. And then you yeah. ended up going and you went to Explorer. Merida. Oh Merida, yeah. Tulum. Tulum. And then Valladolid. Valladolid. Paul Bosch. And then later on, the second time you went, you actually went to the water parks. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the last time I went, it was uh, it was cool. The awesome. water parks really fun, uh, totally yeah. worth it. And then uh, there's a lot of them. They're like huge yeah. water parks, and they're just like you could be in one water park for an entire day if yeah. you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, Mexico, man, Mexico. We got it. And everything's cheaper yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, what is it like twenty dollars to Super the cheap. dollar? Yeah, oh, twenty dollars. Twenty pesos. Twenty to pesos the to the dollar. Yeah, 
So your dollar goes pretty pretty long distance there. Yeah. We got to plan out on the next trip. <sighs> what do you think is the next trip? Ooh, you nice. you should have gone with us to, to, <sighs> to Europe. You messed up. We went to Europe and he did not want to go. I. It's not that I didn't want to go. It's I had priorities. I had to work. He I should have called out. Took care of his dog. That's true. Stella would have yeah. died if it weren't for No, she would have been all right. Uh, she took care of me, actually. <laughs> exactly. I'm like passed out in the living room. It's still like, are you okay? Are you Licking me. Drink water. I would have gone. It's just, um, I guess it was like, I, it was like uh, two, I didn't have vacation those days. And um, it's, um, it was just like, I guess. Sorry about that. Oh, and I went to Mexico though. Oh, remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He so. ended up going to, to while well, you were supposed to take care of the dog, you ended up going to Mexico. I, she was fine. All right. I <laughs> left her a bunch of food. I, I told her, look, here's That's the true. Uber Eats phone number. Uh, here's my card. Whatever you want, go Just for order it. it. Room uh, service. Room service. <laughs> I, the cleaning lady's coming next Wednesday. You'll be fine. It was just three days that I left. It was a quick trip. Yeah. It wasn't that. Um, she had plenty of food either. Yeah. Way. So she that, never even finished it all. No. She we didn't. had her like six bowls and we were gone for what two weeks yeah well, she, she, she had plenty of water plenty of food smart dog, a whole bunch of toys we opened up the area so she had like upstairs and downstairs yeah to fully have a full field day to it yeah she, was, she loved it yeah but we got to plan out a trip where where should we go where, maybe we should ask the bromigos to figure Bromigos, out. if you want to comment where comment, we should go tell us any locations you guys think we we, we should go where the bromigos should go where the bromigos should go like subscribe and hit the notification bell mm -hmm. uh but yeah definitely comment on the video let us know um where you guys think we should where go. you guys have been and what locations would you guys want us to go because we're always up to travel yeah. and we're always up to new ideas i mean we've we've been to a lot of places a lot of places yeah I mean, yeah, you, yeah you've been a lot of places too with yeah with this last trip it was a lot of places too yeah that's we awesome going to, you never went to new york with us no that was also gone, a, yeah, yeah I didn't, you know i didn't go with danny to washington dc oh right they went huh yeah that's pretty cool maybe that's where we can go yeah that'd be cool i want to go to new york i've always yeah. wanted to go you've to been new york. to chicago been to chicago I've, I've never been to chicago yeah windy city it's all right philadelphia oh. you feel like i've never been there boston never been there never been there either texas we can go to texas Tejas, yeah yeah Tejas. eat some barbecues yeah i'm down yeah no, we could do that mississippi what? Alabama. <laughs> alabama 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 Missouri. All right. Well, we'll end it there because we're. I'm already pretty much almost done with my coffee. We're low on coffee. We need the caffeine. We don't need it, but we want it. We don't need it, but we want it. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. That last little. Catch us next time. Hit the subscribe. Hit the like. Comment down. Hit the notification bell. See you guys on the next one. Amen.